So the first step to getting that sweet lightning glow on that flat hammer end right there is going to be selecting uh, the right blue. In this case, we're gonna use GW's Cantor blue and we're gonna use the airbrush blue. So we're gonna mix it up, grab our airbrush and we're just gonna pour straight into it. And what that's gonna do is it's already so thin that if you add any more to it, it's just gonna get super watery. And that's kind of not what we want. So we're just gonna get in here, we're just gonna kind of down, down angle it towards the front of the hammer. Definitely lots of overlap, taking it nice and easy. You can see there, it's looking good. That is awesome coverage straight out of the bottle from Citadel Air. Now the, the only converse side to this is that you're gonna wanna be very careful when you're using these paints because they are gonna dry inside your paint pot. So you're gonna wanna wash and rinse this area in here a whole lot. So we're gonna finish base coating all this first fade here. So there's our fade all finished up and we got it from the right angle emanating from the front of the hammer. You can see it's a great fade, So we're all cleaned out in here. I'm just gonna grab a little Lothran blue from Citadel Air. So now we're gonna go back the other way with it, right? Away from the tip. We're gonna start up here and kind of pull back and that's gonna give us uh, the kind of the fade we're looking for at this point. Kind of like that, but starting to work back. Okay, and we'll just do one more quick pass here just to give you an idea of what this fade is gonna look like and then come back and show you the next step. It's up to one of the last steps here. I guess we're step three, where we're gonna add in a little bit of the uh, Ulthan Gray into the paint pot here. But let's take a look at this fade real quick. Nice coverage all the way around, fading back, not too far onto uh, the gold or anything in the back right there, so it's looking good. Now I mixed up some Ulthan with just a drop of the Lothran just hit it from the edges and don't really kind of overthink it. You might even be able to just to fade it out going outwards from it. So we're just going to take it, we're going to fade towards the front of the hammer here. And we're just pulling it back right there. You can see very easy gradient starting to form right there. Now we have to go in and hit all the planes from all the different angles, but it's not, we're not going to we're not going to pull it back much further than right where it's at. There you can see the fade is looking sick. Super easy. So I literally took the same color, put some on my palette, and then now we're just going to grab a very fine detail brush. Just come in here at an angle and hit your edges all the way around to taste and you will really see that set this whole thing apart just with the solid line edging right there. So there it is, you can see all the edge work we've done. Now step 4.5, let it dry. We're gonna need to give it a matte coat with some lustreless from testers generally is what I use. And then we're gonna come back and give it the very last step. Step five, glaze it all together. It's time for that glaze, and none other than Gilliman Glaze right here from Citadel. We're not gonna use it straight out of the bottle. We're gonna actually take a water bottle palette right here, as we like to call it. Put a little bit of it on it, but we're gonna add a little bit of 50-50 water with Future Floral Wax, and you can see here where it's making it a glaze and thinned it down nice and neat here. I'm using this uh, broken toad brush. I like these little wedge brushes here. So now that we've got that, let's grab our hammer back and attack all these angles here. And there you can see, you're still gonna get definition, seeing those cracks right there where we just brought in that definition around the studs. So you can see where we went and hyper highlighted with that white edge the glaze is gonna bring it back and get into those recesses and kind of do the re reverse. So we're doing a highlight and we're also doing a contrast. It's gonna be glossy, so you're gonna wanna matte coat this down as well after you're done. And then you should be good to play with on the tabletop at that point. All right, so there it is, all dried out, looking fresh. Let's get ready to call down the Sigmar Lightning right here. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to our channel.
and turn on notifications to be the very first to like and comment on our posts and head on over to longwar.net that's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content early access videos and more become a veteran of the long war today